Dominic Moisey, welcome. You are a senior advisor to IFRI and a professor at Harvard, former commentator on foreign affairs. Now, next year, there will be an election in the United States, and from January 2017, there will be a new U.S. president. What do you want in terms of foreign policy from the next uh, U.S. president? Someone who would find the right balance between uh, the policy of George W. Bush, which was too much, and the policy of Barack Obama, which, has, which was slightly too little. Uh, so a balance between the two. And if you look at the current situation, do you feel that uh, America leading from behind, to use one expression, is actually leading from far too behind? Yes, America is behind, but is not leading. And so uh, there's a problem. There's an acceleration of history. There was a, a complete uh, disconnect between the personal agenda of President Barack Obama and, so to speak, the agenda of the world, uh, who went into chaos partly because President Obama refused to change his, agen his agenda. What would you rather he had done? Clearly, in uh, 2013, uh, when the, the regime of Bashar al-Assad crossed the red line in Syria, he should have done what he had said he would be doing. Do you think that has caused lasting damage to the perception of America in the world? Yes. And on top of it, this was a turning point. A turning point for Putin, who seized Crimea when he saw that. A turning point for Daesh, uh, who in fact uh, decided that, well, Sunni had been abandoned. They had to fight for themselves. Now, we discussed these things at the World Policy Conference. Do you think that the WPC actually has an influence on policymakers? The word influence is uh, very probably exaggerated, but it's a background noise, and a background noise is important. Dr. Moisey, thank you so much.